I'm down here. I'm drowning in packages right now. The amount of products that I've received. Oh my freaking god, dude. It's snowing. In yesterday's video, I promised you that I'd kick off this video, which is today's video, um, by picking up the package that I didn't get around to picking up yesterday with that little slip, and I guess it was from Outset, and uh, I guess right, I just picked it up then on my way back from my motorcycle training day two, and uh, obviously I wasn't allowed to film there again, but I got my, uh, well not my license, but I got the certificate like for riding, so I've, I, I've been approved to go out and ride a motorcycle. Now I just need to prove that I can go out and ride a motorcycle on the road, so I have to do the theory test, then I've got my license. Now I feel like the theory test is going to like be the part where like I really, really mess up. The motorbike riding was easy, but the theory test, everyone else in my group learning to ride already had a car, so they already know all the road rules, but uh, I, I'm literally like a blank canvas when it comes to the road and stuff, so wish me luck in that. I'm going to get that done sometime later this week. If I fail, I have to wait like another two weeks, which is really going to just annoy me a lot, because that's been like my main focus, but uh, I'll study for that and uh, hopefully I'll get all the questions correct. Although, if you haven't seen yesterday's video, go check it out. Second link in the description below. Uh, I got like a little slip to pick up a parcel after unboxing this parcel with some brand new Urban Art Wheels in there, which are unreleased by the way. Now, I wasn't sure if I was going to open it in today's video or not, although I have a very, very, very good reason to open it, but not just open this box. When I got home from yesterday's session, another box was also at my door waiting for me, which is this box right here, this huge box. I opened up the back just to check what it was, and it is a deck, and uh, look how big this box is. So that is two boxes we've got now, and then literally, when I walked in my door from the motorcycle test, like just, just a second ago, there was this package. There was this huge package. That is three boxes full. I like I can't see you, guys. I'm down here, guys. I'm I, I'm, I, I'm drowning in boxes. I'm, I'm drowning in packages right now. Today, I'm doing an unboxing video. I haven't done an unboxing video on my channel in a while, and I only like to do them when I have like a lot of packages, which will hopefully build up a whole complete scooter, and there's literally, I'm hoping everything here to build up my brand new custom build, so I thought today, because there's so many parts I have to get through, I'll also be uh, announcing the 150k giveaway, because hopefully all those products for the giveaway are in here. This is going to be the biggest unboxing I've ever done on my channel. There's going to be parts you've never seen before, parts I've never ridden before, so I'm, I'm, I'm super excited, and then, uh, and then because there's so many parts I have to get through, it'll just take way too long to actually get everything out, then build the whole scooter up, then, you know, then go ride it. So I've decided today's going to be unboxing, and then in tomorrow's video, uh, I'll put the whole thing together and then go test it out. Uh, maybe at a skate park, maybe in the streets, I'm not 100% sure. Probably in a skate park, I like to test out my parts in a skate park before taking them out to the streets. Although, today is the uh, is the unboxing video, so we're going to open everything up, we're going to jump right into it. But I haven't really said, welcome back everyone, hope you're all doing amazing. I sure am, I've got plenty of boxes to open, so uh, let's get right into that. First box we're going to open is the... Uh, is the small outset box. And I need a knife. We got a knife. As you know, my skew is pretty destroyed right now, so uh, I'm keen. All right, straight off the bat, we got the brand new outset cardboard. Uh, they've recently bought this out. They're like, like, like the welds are really, really clean in there. This cardboard is really, really, really good. It's it's really, really soft. It's, uh, it's quite squishy. It's not like, you know, it's not too hard. Um, it's, it's a joke. So I'm gonna put that to the side. It's, Really bad joke. Straight off the bat, we got a brand new outset t-shirt. It's a size small. I do not wear a size small, I wear a size medium. This is why they sent me a small. This is a part of the 150k giveaway. So all the 150k giveaway prizes are gonna be in this box. So today is unboxing my parts and parts that I'm gonna be giving away to you guys. So first uh, product for the uh, giveaway is a size small t-shirt. You also win. Oh my god. We got product in here guys. I'm keen to uh, to get this out and show you all. So I'll get out all the 150k giveaway prizes first. So you've got the t-shirt. You then have 100 outset stickers. Now obviously I need some for myself to give out to homies and to stick on my own scooter. So I'm probably gonna give out 30 or 40 40 stickers. You also win. I got two sheets of outset grip tape. So you want a sheet of outset grip tape. The logo is just in there. You can see it. Plain black grip tape with the white outset logo. Then you also win. 
That's all you win. Uh, now the new Urban Art Deck, which I hope is in this box over here, the, uh, they're not actually out yet. I don't know how long until they will be out, but the current most new Urban Art Deck is, uh, is this deck right here. And I found a brand new one under my bed. Only thing is it doesn't have a brake or a back axle, but, uh, I'm sure you can buy a brake for pretty cheap. And the back axle, you can just kind of use any axle. You just have to DIY a little bit with that. Sorry there's no brake and back axle. I wasn't even going to give this away. I just found it and thought, why not, you know hook up a homie who uh, who's in need. So it's a brand new Urban Art Primo Evo deck in black. I already had this. I didn't have to unbox this. This is the deck that I've been running up until hopefully today when I get my new one. But uh, Urban Art Primo Evo deck, you'll get a bunch of outset stickers. You get a sheet of outset grip tape and an outset embroidered t-shirt. So if you want to enter this giveaway, because I really want you guys to have the best chance at winning because 150k subscribers is just such, you know, an amazing milestone. This is what you'll win and I'll announce all the rules in tomorrow's video uh, and I'll also post it all on my Instagram probably sometime tomorrow as well. So keep your eyes peeled on all my social media if you want to win. All right, what else do we have inside the outset box? So we got, dude, I am so excited. Black ODI grips, black ODI plastic barns, just simple good grips. Uh, we have, we got a clamp. Now, I'm running some tilt products. I'm still on Urban Art. Yes, I don't run for tilt. Uh, I also just hooked it up with some other parts, and I just wanted to try them out. So I've got like a bit of a custom build, but then obviously I'm still running the main Urban Art components, being the, uh, the bars and deck. And, uh, this is the first look, at least for me, at the new tilt products. So these tilt sculpted products came out very recently. Look at this. So this tilt product is extremely different to all the other tilt products, or the clamps at least. It's the sculpted SES. It kind of looks like it's been, I guess, sculpted there. You've got a nice little tilt logo just there. It's a four ball clamp, uh, six millimeter Allen key uh, heads, which is awesome. And you've got like the bridge, the compression bolt in there. And that compression bolt is going to screw into, I'm hoping, other new tilt forks. Oh God. We have the brand new Tilt Fork, which is also extremely different. You've got a really, really nice Tilt logo there, which kind of pops a little bit. Uh, it, it's like you've got this really nice kind of sculpted effect on it, I guess, and it looks really nice. Uh, you've got the F5 axle, I assume, in there. Uh, you've got the tube, and then you've got like the uh, the little kind of the little screw in highlight, I don't know what you call that, but you've got the threading for the uh, for the compression clamp. So brand new compression, we've got the brand new Tilt SES and brand new Tilt Forks. That's gonna look really nice together. These are just really smooth looking products and uh, in between that we need a headset. Dude, my room is gonna be a mess after this. Hoping we got a headset. Yes, we got a Tilt headset. Looks real nice, I'm sure that'll spin like butter. I also got a sheet of outset grip tape for myself, so that will go on my deck. Last but not least, we have, uh, well, we've got the receipt and then we have the wheels. Now, Zach Martin has always been my favorite rider and I've always wanted his uh his sig wheels finally received them he's been my favorite rider for a lot of reasons i actually got to meet him in america we got the nice shiny proto stick which is super sick that'll go in my sticker collection dude these look nice the gray is a lot grayer than i thought so the zach martin colorway is gray on black they come with the proto murder bearings which are a little bit kind of stiff i need to maybe lube those up a little bit but outset has hooked it up big time grip tape tilt clamp tilt forks Proto wheels. We got a tilt headset. We got grip tape. And uh, the only hard part is deciding which wheels to use. These are Cool Urban Art Full Calls or the Proto Zach Martins. I'm gonna have to see what color the rest of my products are to make the final decision. But uh, it's gonna be a hard decision. I don't know. I really want to ride the products. I haven't ridden these in ages. But then again, the new Urban Art unreleased wheels. It's gonna be a tricky decision. But um, I'm just overwhelmed right now by the love. Like honestly, the amount of products that I've received in the past few days. It's funny that all these packages rocked up at the same time. So uh, I'm gonna put. All these products aside just for now, then we'll kind of recap everything once we've uh, unboxed everything. If you want any of these products, any of these products, and you don't want to spend the full price, you can use my discount code to get 10% off Doubt. It's my last name. Just look down at my username on YouTube. It's just uh, the second word, Doubt, D-A-U-T-H. It gives you 10% off on any product on your online orders. It helps me out a lot. It helps you out a lot. And ultimately, it helps out a rider-owned business, rider-owned company uh, being outset select. Now, the next product I'm going to open is actually uh, the big square box, which is this one right here. This big one. Now, in my Q&A video, I uh, mentioned that I was w possibly working on a signature product with Outset. Uh, sorry, not Outset, with Urban Art. Maybe Outset in the future, but Urban Art. We're not sure exactly what part we're going to use as my signature part. A bit of the behind the scenes kind of talking right here. I don't even know if I'm allowed to say this, but I'm a savage out here, guys. These are bars right here. I mean, I assume in this box, and we're talking about getting signature bars for me. I'm assuming these are just going to be plain T-bars, because they just want me testing out the material first, testing out the metal, see if it's strong enough, see if I like it, see if they're not too heavy, see if they're not too light, see if I like them all around, and then once I've decided on the material, we'll add a cool design, maybe cool gussets, cool cutout, maybe an engraving or something, so I don't want to say too much, and uh, I'm going to have to stand up to open this one. We got the knife. Whoa, it's like snowing. Woo! 
Now, for all I could know, these could just be the normal Open Art tea bars, and I haven't received my sample signature bars yet. I have no idea, but we got Open Art bars. Oh my god, they're in raw as well. Got a little bit of snow on them. Check this out, dude. These are these are definitely different from the last overnight tea bars because as you can see, they kind of square up at the top. So they're round all the way here and then they go kind of square here, which is real nice. The welds have such a nice finish on them. The color's super nice. It's like a raw colorway, which is sick. They're huge. They're so tall and so wide. So I'm gonna have to cut these down in tomorrow's video, but uh, you got the, uh, the hashtag ride your way kind of logo engraved in there. You put the overnight logo engraved in there, which is super sick. That looks super dope. So these overnight tea bars look so nice. I'm basically just testing out the material of them and these will be my signature bars basically but maybe with a cutout or an extra gusset or something. I'm going to be working on that with Urban Art, but uh, I have got a signature product in the works. So hyped. Brand new bars. ODIs are going to slip on here real nice. And I'm just thinking right now, I think the proto wheels would actually match like the grey pretty well. I mean, not exactly, but there's kind of like just a different shade of grey on the um, on the urethane of my wheels and the uh, and the colour of the bars. So I'm thinking I might use these. We're getting a lot of parts. This is where the room starts to get real messy. Alright, uh, well next up we have the, uh, the last box. Oh! This is a big one. Now, I did open the back just to see what was inside, uh, to see what it was. Quick little background story. Everyone who I ride with has a square back deck, like square dropouts. Now, let me use the, uh, the deck that I'm giving away, for example. So, your dropouts are right here. It's how the deck kind of ends, how they drop out at the end. Now, this isn't necessarily a bad thing. I've been running this exact deck for ages. These go down and they go inwards. You know, they're kind of like diagonal. Square dropouts would be if I went all the way down and then just squared up at the end, kind of like a right angle. Unless you're doing 5 O's, which is where you grind on the back of the deck on the side without pegs, it won't matter if you don't have square dropouts. Everyone in my career has square dropouts. I see them doing 5 O's all the time, and I get so jealous, dude. I'm like, dude, all I want is square dropouts right now, and I'm hoping, I, I really hope, this is uh, this is the deck that I've been waiting for for so long now. So, uh, first of all, I can see, I think another clamp and forks. Dude, the sponsors are hooking it up big time. I'll start off with this. I assume it's a clamp. We got a shim. Oh my god, yes! Ever since the Urban Art Primo Evo parts came out, I never actually got the other Urban Art Primo Evo components. I only got the uh, the bars and the deck, but I finally got the brand new Urban Art Primo Evo clan. Look at the front of it, then you've got like a little like kind of flat bit there. That is such a nice looking SES, dude. God damn. We've got the uh, pr it says Primo fork. Yes, dude. What the hell? We've got the Urban Art Primo. Fork. This is the Urban Art Primo Evo fork. I've never received this part from Urban Art. You've got the integrated crown race. Awesome test. You've got your, uh, your 5mm axle. Look how nice that looks. You've got some offset. Awesome little kind of... I don't even know what that is. This is going to be a tricky decision because right now, I really don't know what to use. You guys can guess what I'm going to end up using in the comment section below, but by the time this video is up, I will have already built up the complete for uh, tomorrow's video. So... Have a guess, if you're right, might reply, might like your comment, but uh, so much product is on my desk right now. Oh, finally, we're in. I haven't looked at the back of the deck yet. I'm not even gonna look in the screen. Please tell me that freaking square dropouts. Yes, dude, yes. Oh my god. Freaking God, dude, square dropouts, finally. If any of the homies from the crew are watching this right now, watch out, I'm coming for you with 5-0s. Dunkeasy, stand aside, I know you've been bragging about being able to do 5-0s and I can't. Well, I got the square back dropout. Let's have a 5-0 contest next time I see you, boy. And they cut out on the bottom as well. Look how nice that looks. You've got like a full, I think they call it like a glass cutout. That looks so nice. You've got like a little kind of concave kind of cutout just there as well. Urban Art logo. The wells have a really nice finish. So it's pretty much like a rectangular base deck. So now I can do 5 O grinds. If you don't know what that is, it's when you grind on the back end of your deck without pegs like that. What's also cool about this deck is you've got the axle for the wheel there, and then I don't know if you can see in there, but there's another axle for the spaces, so the spaces don't fall out when you're changing your back wheel. Wow, dude, my desk is just full of parts right now. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly so hyped. Let me get the 150k giveaway products onto my desk as well. I cannot believe this. Shout out to my sponsors for 
Killing it with the hookups. Look at this. Freaking look at this right now. Wheels, forks, clamp, headset, second clamp, second pair of forks, grip tape, two sheets here, two sheets there. We got a brand new deck with the square back. We got a brand new deck with the cutout, which I'm giving away. Brand new t-shirt. Hundreds of stickers. We got grips. We got... We, oh my god. My brand new prototype signature buzz. So much is happening for me right now. I'm honestly... Shout out to Urban Art and Outset right now. Tommy, if you're watching this, huge shout out to you, Alan, or anyone behind Urban Art, wherever in the world you are. Thank you so much. I appreciate all of that. Like, like, this is insane. This is it, like, oh, I, I, I honestly cannot believe it, dude. It feels like Christmas, and it doesn't snow in Australia in Christmas, but it snows in America. So let's just pretend that we're in America for a second. Hey, it's snowing. Hey, you know what's good. It's snowing. Not really, but I've actually low key never been to the snow rip. <laughs> Snow's gone guys, Christmas is over. I opened up all my products. Really, really, really hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm ending this vlog on the floor. Never done this before, but I can do whatever the hell I want because you gotta know what you love every single day, guys. And uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm so hyped with all the love and support. Thank you so much for 150K subs. Shout out to my sponsors once again, Ripico, Urban Art, and uh, now Set Select. I haven't done an unboxing in a while, but uh, I thought I just had to show you all my parts today. There were way too many to get through, so I decided to dedicate a whole video to uh, to unboxing the products. I really hope you enjoyed. Aussie Tour coming up soon as well. More details posted soon, and uh, the next time I see you will be tomorrow, so until then guys, do all that good stuff. If you did enjoy today's video, please let me know by subscribing to the channel if you're new. Turning on post notifications so you get notified every single time I upload a video. Post notification shout out goes to this dude right here. If you want to get a shout out in my next video, just like this dude, hashtag notification squad in the comment section below, leave, along with leaving something positive, something, don't leave something negative, something funny, I don't know, something I'd enjoy reading. I really, re I, I honestly read every single comment. I might not like it reply, but I read every comment. Along with dropping a like, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.